So I see this question pop up a lot of times, which exactly is better anyway, the Telos Boltor or the Boltor Prime? And here's a bit of a sneak peek. In terms of performance, both weapons are rather similar, but there is a clear distinction between the two. So today we're gonna answer once and for all which you should go for, the Telos Boltor or the Boltor Prime. Hey, if it was up to me, I would just build both, but let's hop into a stat comparison, since in terms of functionality, both of the weapons, well, act pretty much the same way. First of all, the Telos is a syndicate weapon and the Voltor Prime normally is vaulted. Not right now though, so you wanna, if you want to farm it, now is the time. Accuracy is in favor of the Voltor Prime 50 versus 25 and this will matter when we take into account heavy caliber. Critical chance, only 12% for the Voltor Prime and a whopping 30% for the Telos Voltor. The Telos also has superior critical multiplier at 2.4x instead of the quote-unquote standard 2.0. The fire rate is pretty much the same, a small edge to the Voltor Prime, noise alarming, the magazine size 50% larger on the Telos. Reload the same 2.4 seconds, which as a whole is a tad on the lengthy side, but 34% status chance on the Voltor Prime and only 16% on the Telos. In terms of damage, the Boltor Prime also comes in front here over, what is that, 46 damage instead of 30. But if you take a look at the damages, impact and puncture on both weapons. So, let's have a look at the Boltor Prime. This is a status weapon, okay? It, there's no getting around that fact. With a 12% base, even if you were to slap on something like crit with point strike, you're only gonna go to 30%. It's hardly worth it unless you take into account outside buffs such as Critical After from Arcane Avenger or maybe Lord Harrow or maybe even a Kavat buff. So we got damage with serration, multi-shot with split chamber vigilante armaments, we have heavy caliber here as well. Now the accuracy dropped to 20.1 and for medium and close range shots this is gonna be good enough. But on projectile based weapons heavy caliber is a bit dangerous, I'll show you guys the accuracy just a tad later. Malignant force high voltage, 260-60 mods forming corrosive and 290 mods as well. Because again I can't really go into crit, so what I can do is go into shred and make use out of that large magazine but we're gonna keep it like this for now for the sake of the numbers and all whatnot now let me show you that accuracy that i was talking about earlier this is 18 meters to my target as you can see a few of the bolts are indeed landing outside of the crosshairs but it's bearable manageable for the most part and to be honest when you're dealing with a weapon that has such low base critical chance yeah your options are rather limited. And we got Corrupted Heavy Goons level 120. Now let's see what the Boltor Prime can do. It shredded. It shredded the target in about, what was that, 35 bolts. To the head, of course. Why the hell not? To the head. Always try to go for headshots, especially on weapons that rely heavily on critical chance. Not that this one would be one, but there you go. Now, I love the Boltors. All the Boltors. Every single crossbow and every single bow in the game as well. Simply because I can do that. I can launch enemies into orbit and then stick them to whatever is on the other side. Now, I saw the performance for the Boltor Prime. Now, let's move on over to the Telos version. You're looking at, by the way, 454 my each. But again, link to the cards right now for full reviews on both of these fantastic weapons. Now, we're gonna be looking at slightly different build on the Telos simply because this one can make use of a critical chance. So we got serration for damage, multi-shot with split chamber vigilante armaments, critical chance, critical damage, point strike, vital sense, 260-60 mods forming corrosive, the same high voltage malignant force, and 190 to put the corrosive value higher than my IPS times 4. Now, it still doesn't do that because puncture times 4 right now is still a higher proc priority value than my corrosive. And if you guys didn't know, impact, puncture, and slash, the physical types in Warframe, have a 4 times greater chance of applying a status effect over any elemental type. So we're gonna go like this. With the 90 here, I do have a higher chance of actually proccing corrosive. Now one more time, Corrupted Heavy Goons level 120, and let's see what the Telos Boltor can do. So what did the Prime do? About 35-ish bolts, something like that, to the head. Keep in mind that the magazine on this one is 90. And as you can see, 30 bolts. And like I said at the start, the performance between these two weapons is rather similar. You're not gonna see a huge gap between the two. Even though the Boltor Prime does not really make use out of crit, it does have higher base damage and it does matter, especially on status uh, builds, which it is, at the end of the day, a status weapon. But hold on, Dar, there is one additional 
difference that I can't really show you in the simulacrum. The Telespolter is a syndicate weapon, so it will have that glorious syndicate effect, and that puts the Telos a bit in front. There's one more thing that the Telos can do that the Prime cannot. It can have a different bloody build. You can go for a bleed build because we got critical chance. Therefore, Hunter Munitions is viable. And trust me, there are a few people that hate Hunter Munitions more than me, but it is viable. And we're gonna go with Argon Scope, of course, and Bladed Rounds for a higher critical uh, multiplier, which will mean higher value slashes as well. So you can also go for an approach such as this, go for Hunter Munitions and the Prime simply cannot make use out of one of the most overpowered primary mods in Warframe. Hit a target till about 50% HP, then watch the bleeds deal the damage. Now of course the build will not be in full swing until I get my buff from Bladed Rounds, which is roughly now. Take a look. That's 50% on the target and the bleeds will be reaching uh, over 1700, just a bit, in the case of the... Um, Orange bleeds. Take a look at that. You can go for an approach such as this. I'm not saying that this build is better than the one we tried earlier, but what I'm saying is that you do have an option. While I don't really like builds such as this, there are plenty of players that enjoy playing with Hunter Munitions. I'm not judging, I'm simply telling that you can with this one, and with the other, you can't. Well, my friends, if performance is rather similar, do you think I'm being unfair to the Prime? Because we can try something else, but I tried everything I could to get the most performance out of it. What about if we slap on some critical chance, critical damage? You guys want to try that? Sure, why the hell not? So let's get rid of Heavy Cal and one of the 90 mods as well. Mm, well, it's a status weapon. I would really like my corrosive as high as it can get. So not the proc puncture, but proc corrosive. So we're going to be getting rid of Vigilante armaments. And we're going to go with critical chance and critical damage. Battle sense, there we go. 30%, that's the issue. Even if you slap on something like Argon Scope onto this one, you're only gonna go to like 40-ish percent. It's still not good enough. Of course, you can take into account Warframe buffs, and that changes the story dramatically, but I think it's no longer a fair comparison. Okay, so here it is with crit. That took about 33 bolts. As you can see, the performance is similar to the status build. So overall, my friends, it's kind of time to draw some conclusions. Riven mods! Wait, forgot about Riven mods. Oh yes, it's the same weapon. You're looking at the exact same Riven disposition of 3 out of 5. If you get a Riven focused around damage multi-shot perhaps with an element, then you want to go for the Bolt or Prime since that one will make better use out of it. If you get a critical Riven, something like critical damage multi-shot, critical chance or anything of the sort, then the Telos Boltor is the way to go. But overall, my friends, let's be honest here, the performance is similar, but the Telos has a few advantages. One is more flexible, and the second it does have an innate syndicate proc. So the win goes to the Telos. Thank you guys so much for watching, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Oh, also in the comment section down below, since basically I'm scratching my head for content, give me some suggestion, guys. This versus that, and all that good stuff. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye. In terms of functionality, the brand new weapons, the brand new, they're not brand new at all. The fuck? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. This on the Telos, and the Prime simply cannot make use one of uh, the water... Uh, <laughs> okay.